going to make another little phone call here to the voter registration hotline, electoral services, Nottingham City Council. The number is 0115 if anybody wants to call. This is electoral services, the voter registration hotline, 0115 876 4111. Let's see what happens. Oh, hi there. The line's not too good. Um, no, is that... it's not. Yes, it's not. Yes, sorry. Can you hear me okay? Yep. How can I help? Uh, yes, please. It's Voter Registration Helpline. Yep. Um, I'd just like to ask a question. I recently got the voter registration form through the post, and it says that uh, I will need to register to vote this year, otherwise I'll be fined £1,000. Um, where, where in law does it say that anybody has to register to vote? Thank you. Um, just hold on the line, I'll have a look for you. Thank you so much. It's going to have a look. I think it'd be straight to hand, wouldn't it? Hmm. Yes. What do you reckon they're going to come back with? Um, some made up story. It's taking a time to find the information, isn't it? Where in law does it say that you need to register to vote? I'm going to ask, well, you know, how can they find me a thousand pounds after this? Mm. Is that not coercing you into voting? Is that or some kind of enforcement? Is this Nazi Germany? Still taking a long time. Maybe they've never been asked that before. A bit like the tax office, Her Majesty's Revenue Collection. Hi there, sorry for keeping you waiting. Hi there. Hello? Hi there. Hi, uh, yes, yeah, sorry for keeping you waiting. Uh, it is section 23. Section 23? Of, of the representation of the people regulations 2001, mm. England and Wales. Right, is that an act? Is it a statute? An act, I think. I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh, OK. I was just wondering what happened before the Act or Statute. What, what year was the Section 23? 2001? 2001. 2001, yes. Oh, right. I wonder what the, uh, the law was before that. But it, it doesn't matter anyway. Thank you for your information. The other question I wanted to ask is, how could you find me £1,000 if, if the council doesn't have my name? We uh, go to the property. We send canvases to the property. You send cam um, canvases? Yes, to collect the information. So what happens if I didn't give the information? If you refuse to give the information, then um, I think it call, it's the police that calls. So the police would call at my house to get my information? What happens yes. if I didn't give it to the police? I mean, is this Nazi Germany? Because it seems like that. Are the council forcing people into doing things that, against their will? It is a legislation, uh, like it's a legal requirement to register. It's a legal requirement. Where did yes. anybody in Nottingham agree to do this? Yes, I am as well. It's, uh, it seems that, you know, I've asked people, and a lot of people don't seem to want to register because it seems that the council are forcing people against their will uh, in order to, uh, to comply to their requests. And if you don't, you, you get a forfeit. But I realise that if, the council, if I don't give my name to the, the council, then who are they going to take to court or fine? Well, obviously they wouldn't have anyone. So the police couldn't force me into giving my name because, you see, do you realise that in law, um, there are no laws which actually says that you have to have a name or give your name to anybody? Right, well, um, is the person living at the property or responsible for the property? I've no idea about that. All I, all I wanted to do, it's no offence against you, very nice lady. I just wanted to ask a few questions because on the website it says if you needed some questions about electoral services yes. Yes. to call the voter registration hotline and all your questions would be answered. And um, so, yeah, the question is that if, if nobody gives their name to the voter registration, what, what can the council do? So the police can't force you to give your name. Uh, I don't think there's a... Did you know, is there a law which actually says that you have to have a name by law? When the police calls, I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, I don't 
no, I don't deal with that. I know there were like three people fined last year. Well, they must have given their names. Uh, I presume so, yes. Yes. Yeah. But there were uh, community protection officers going to the properties and speaking to them. So they weren't... They refused uh, face-to-face to, face to, to give their information. They were community protection officers. Well, they, they're employed by the council, aren't they? They're not real yeah, police. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, thank you very much for your health and advice. Well, that's okay. I think... Yes. I, I guess yes, you're not sure. How did... Sorry, how did you get this job if you're not sure? Well, I'm I here to help you registering. Oh, you just, just help with the registering and that's all? Yes. Okay. Well, you're a very, very nice lady. Thank you for... Uh, for thank you. For not being able to answer my questions. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a lovely evening. Bye. Bye what? Bye, bye, bye pizza. <clears throat> so, what do you think to that? Well... She's not sure about anything, is she? But the thing I didn't like about it is at the beginning, she said it was the police, even though she knew it was the, pl the ca city council's community protection officers, not the police. The so it's almost like she was trying to mislead us there and get you, get you worried by saying it was the police. <laughs> she says she's not sure. She's not sure. I suppose if you... Did you, did you, did you hear that? If you don't give your name, then they can't do anything at all. The police can't force you to give your name. But it wouldn't be the police anyway. It would be community it'd be the, protection. It would be the community protection. They're not even the police. I mean, they don't have any jurisdiction over anybody. So they'll come and knock on your door, and that's all they can do, knock on your door. In fact, last year, there was someone we know where the community protection turned up, and he thought they were the police, so he gave them his name. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's no longer around. Ah. Uh, Foolish. Yeah. So, anyway, we hope you enjoy our videos. Uh, we wanted to do a, a message of thanks uh, on another video, but yeah, thanks everybody. Thanks for your comments, both negative and positive. Um, we, uh, we we like to hear from you, and uh, if there's anything you want us to do or anybody you'd like us to call, um, we've got lots of ideas, but yeah, if you want to throw some our way, we'll quite happily make a little phone call or a video about it. But that, that was um, our little phone call to the voter registration, electoral services, and she was such a lovely uh, lady. She sounded Polish, didn't she? Yes. <laughs> of um, Eastern Bloc, sort of uh, Euro Eastern European. But very, very nice lady. Uh, you heard what she said. I'll mean, play it again if you want. She said she's not sure. So you... If you don't register to vote... And you then, don't give your name... Then the, 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 um, the C3POs are going to come to your door and say, please, can you give me your name so we can find you a £1,000? Would you give your name if somebody's going to find you a £1,000? Especially when you know if you don't, they can't. <laughs> Live long and prosper. <laughs>